characteristics um, of the resources are a very important topic in the Commons debate. Um, there are two main categories used, especially by economists. You, you might know them already. They are called rivalry and excludability. By the way, Elinor Ostrom talks about subtractability instead of rivalry. Let's have a closer look at it. What is a rival, a so-called rival resource? It is pretty easy to explain. It means basically that when I use a resource, for instance, when I have a glass of water or a cup and drink it, you cannot drink it anymore. Or in other words, when we share the water, each of us will only have a part of it and not the whole. On the contrary, the non-rival resources. For instance, if I speak about the commons with you, I share my ideas. Ideas are non-rival resource, so to say. Then you can add yours. We can have a dialogue and both sides will get richer and get more out of it. In other words, the more we share, the better. Non-rival resource, resources, as we used to say, follow a logic of plenty. On the other hand, there is the category of excludability. What does that mean? Again, pretty simple. It means that, for instance, if you enjoy the sunlight, it is pretty difficult to exclude somebody from enjoying the sunlight, right? Or it is difficult to impede somebody who doesn't pay his taxes to drive on the road. On the other hand, there are resources which are said to be excludable. That is, it is pretty easy to put a fence or whatever and to exclude other people from access and use. Both rivalry and excludability, in my point of view, are not a given. Again, let's have a closer look. This sounds simple, but obviously it's a bit more complex than this. Mm, for instance, let's take an example. Um, this was a book, our book about the commons. What would you say? Is it rival or non-rival? The ideas, the ideas we share about the commons can be shared among everybody and the more we share them, the more commons debate will reproduce itself. On the other hand, those ideas were printed on paper based on fuels probably or wood and water. So in order to share the ideas, we need to feed ourselves. In order to share a so-called non-rival resource, we need a material layer, the paper for the book or the food for our minds. So I would say that both types of resources belong to each other. It is hard to find in the world out there a resource which is only rival or non-rivalrous. Because again, the comments is about what we do with the resources, not about the resources themselves. And the very question, what we do with the resources, leads us directly to our ideas of sharing to the rules we make, to decision-making processes, etc., etc., that is, to non-rival concepts. And now let's have a closer look at the excludability idea. I think it is important to note that um, if a resource is more or less excludable, depends on the decision we make, or it depends on the technology we use. For instance, mm, let's talk about water. 
if we use water or we share it mm, via a public well, then it can be well be called a commons. But if we put it into a bottle and sell it in the supermarket, put a price tag on, then it becomes obviously a resource where only people who have money have access to and it becomes a so-called private good. So it highly depends on us, on the technologies we use, on the, on the environment we live in, if something is more or less excludable. So it is important uh, to be aware of the fact that some things will be more when we share them and others won't. This is important because our rules with regard to those resources have to be different. If we want to share them in a fair way, sharing water implies putting a limit on each share and sharing ideas, sharing non-rival resources simply implies open access because we don't use up the idea of another person. The other person will still have this idea. So this mm, specificity, I would say, of the resources shapes and defines in a certain way what we understand by fair rules in terms of use rights and access rights to these things. Limits and a fair share of our resources, open access and freedom and the non-rival commons.